I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. Five ways to tear packing tape without any tools. Method one. I invented this first method because it is better than any other me methods. It works on the two inch tape, three inch, and even the duct tape. Only this super strong tape with fiber will not work. However, you really need to watch my video about four times to learn the skill of doing it. It works if you keep the following four points in mind. One, sink your fingernail into the outermost edge of the roll. You can't sink into the center, not even close to the edge like this, but the nail has to cut into the very edge like this. I use a marker to show how to align the edge. The nail is pressed against the outermost edge. Half of my nail can be seen on the empty side. You can cut either this side or the opposite side. You should make sure your shoulder and your elbow are not moving. Two, you need to pull up at an angle away from the roll, towards you if your nail is on this side or away from you if it is on the other side. Don't pull in this direction or this direction because these directions will stretch and make the tape narrower and more difficult to tear. Three, your initial state is to provide tension without overstretching. Four, you need to pull quickly. You can use four fingers to pull to provide extra strength. When some people pull quickly, they tend to go towards the opposite direction first. This will not work because it destroys the initial state with tension. You need to satisfy all the four points in order to pull this off, or else you will fail, most likely. Let me repeat the four points. Outermost edge, correct angle, initial tension, pull quickly. If you could not keep up all four points, then keep an eye on your friends amused at facial expressions when you failed. We have had plenty of aggravating experiences during the course of our experiments. If you don't have any fingernails or the tape is super thick and strong, you should move your two hands closer. Method two, use your two thumbs as a pair of scissors. Put one thumb on the edge of one side. Put the other thumb on the edge of the other side. We use your two thumbs as a pair of scissors. If your index finger is very strong, you can use one thumb and one index finger to tear like this, but I prefer to use thumbs because the thumbs are stronger than index fingers. The advantage of this method is that you can break a very small piece of tape. The disadvantage is that your fingers need to be strong. It works if you keep the following four points in mind. Your fingernail starts from the outermost edge. See, I have aligned the edge with a marker. You twist it as if your thumbs are scissors. You need to apply sheer stress. Don't stretch or pull it apart, but twist it. The force needs to be perpendicular to the tape. There should be zero gap between your fingers. You need to pull quickly. See, it is easier as long as you have strong fingers and satisfy the four points, especially to keep your fingers closer than one millimeter. Method three, violent pull. Fold the sticky side of the tape back on itself so that the two sides get stuck together. Then you pull it apart very quickly. If you could not keep the four points of the previous methods, this one would make you really happy because it does not require any skill at all. It will tear this two inch tape and even this duct tape, although you can see the cut may not be as clean as you want, but it does the job. However, it does not work on this three inch tape or this super strong one. Method four, your teeth. Do not show this to your dentist or show someone if you want to impress them with your manners. Fold the tape a little bit on the edge so that you don't touch the glue and bite only a tiny bit on the edge. Even though this is a double layer, you can cut it with your teeth because the tape is softer than steak. And then you can tear from this tiny cut easily with your hand. This method is not as impressive as the previous ones, but may be useful when no one is watching or if you don't have to impress anyone. Method five, pre-cut, pre-treatment. You can use a knife to make a small cut on the whole roll. Just tear it by hand when you want to use it. Obviously, the disadvantage is you are weakening the tape. 
but still you may find it useful in certain situations, such as hanging holiday decorations, labeling boxes, or taping a note to a bulletin board. It may also help arthritic hands with very little strength. Although you do use a tool to cut it, you will not need a tool right at the time you actually use it. Of course, if you do have some basic items nearby, such as car keys, pencils, you can use anything sharp to punch a hole in the tape, but you may get a ragged edge or a tear. If you do a lot of packing, there are also special tools you can use to get a clean cut. There are so many different tapes and situations. This video should be a good start for you to experiment and have fun. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own Genius Tapes in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.